Okay, so the final area that we looked at was this area here. So obviously it connects into High Street. So we've called it the High Street Precinct, quite simple. Um, so there's not the budget to completely replace um, the play equipment here. It's been here for quite some time and it could do with a renewal. So we considered um, the possibility of just giving it a refresh, maybe <laughs> around the outside, make it a bit more interactive um, with some new elements of um, play equipment coming in. But in the areas of the garden bed and maybe have some um, additional ones or a bit lower for smaller children, introduce a sensory garden for kids to interact and smell and touch and um, connect with the natural environment, which is something that is um, wonderful about Shepparton. And in the area associated with that, we thought, well, what can we do for the parents or family members? And we considered the option of putting in um, solar trees with associated phone charging stations. So you could sit down, charge your phone or your laptop or iPad, whatever, while watching the kids, grabbing a coffee with your friends. But that's a, an area that wouldn't be exclusively for parents. Um, young people would um, likely be attracted to the option of being able to charge their phone. So it starts to bring um, some elements into the mall that start to tap into a wider variety of people in the community. Um, so that, they're the main points that we sort of ended up coming, um, bringing our ideas down to. We had a range of ideas, you know, we had a million more, but we condensed it down to the, the things that celebrate Shepparton and, and are going to tap into a, a broader range of people in the town. So, so can I ask, if yep. the council did decide to go ahead with a version of that or that, how long would it take to set it all up, seeing a lot of it was purchased and brought in? Yeah. Is there going to be much? having to cut up pavements? And no, so no cutting up pavements. Um, so pretty much we're just putting things on top of what's there. There's no cutting up pavement. There's no um, need to relocate services. For a couple of um, the elements that we've considered, such as activating the area with events, that was another um, sort of layer to what we were proposing. Um, you may just need to run a little bit of um, temporary power to the sites that are needed, but apart from that, it's um, not going to require any major infrastructural so how long changes. Then would it take to very set quickly, it up? very quickly. So, um, it, it, no, most likely less than six months. It would depend on um, That's why it's not how long. Cost three or four million dollars. Yeah, isn't it? yeah, yeah. So it was designed good. to be low cost and quick, and it would depend on local manufacturers how quickly, because we want to have these things done in town boosting our local economy. So it would depend on how quickly these things could be made, but most likely they are designed to be very quickly um, producible and adaptable. So it's something that could be rolled out very quickly. Yes. So yeah, it's not going to be a great um, uh, debt to the council. To no, no. So it's a 350k is the um, cost estimate for this, which is a very small amount when you think about the, the costs usually associated with um, activation and infrastructure projects. So it's a low cost, and if it doesn't, it doesn't succeed, work. then we haven't spent a lot of money on it, and there's no huge loss. Whereas some other options might cost, um, you know, a couple million dollars and upwards, and if it's not success successful, then we've, you know, spent a lot of money, and that is now gone.